Our world is filled with amazing insects, but some are so small and fragile that studying them up close can be almost impossible. But what if we could study these tiny and delicate creatures in the digital world? Hi, I'm Brian from CSIRO's Australian National Insect Collection. And I'm Matt from CSIRO's Data61. And we're here at the Australian National Insect Collection to make some digital copies of some very small insects. Here we have the biggest collection of Australian insects in the world, with over 12 million specimens. Insects make up over half of the organisms on Earth. There are more than a million insect species in the world that we know of. They're a vital part of our ecosystem, so insect researchers like us need to learn as much as we can about them. Scientists estimate that we've only described about a quarter of life on Earth so far, and each day we're discovering and classifying new species of insects. CSIRO's national research collections are like libraries of life. Just like a book, we loan our specimens to researchers all over the world, but many of our specimens are fragile and priceless. To open up our collections to the world, we've developed a world-first process, a way of creating 3D, full-colour digital models of some of the world's smallest insects. It works by taking thousands of very high-resolution digital photographs from over 100 different angles. Then we use software to combine those images into one detailed file. And luckily, we've got some pretty cool technology to help us out. The first step is to mount the insect on a two-axis turntable. It lets our specimen tilt and rotate in full 360, so the camera can capture every last detail. To make sure our images blend together accurately, our bug needs to stay right at the centre of the turntable in every shot, so we use a laser pointer to get the alignment perfect. And now our insect's ready for its close-up, and we can start taking shots using a computer-controlled camera. It's on the rail, so it can be programmed to move very small distances, to get different shots at different angles. For really small insects, it can take up to three hours to shoot a well-detailed model, and almost four and a half thousand photos. But all those images aren't much use on their own, now we have to combine them. The software takes these thousands of photos and blends them into one highly detailed three-dimensional model. Our 3D models are so detailed, you don't always need a microscope to study our specimens. This means that scientists from anywhere on Earth can have access to our insect collection at any time, which means more can be discovered about these amazing insects in a shorter amount of time. Especially when you have some of these. They're a great way to get up close and personal with our 3D bugs. Using an augmented reality headset, we can place a 3D insect model into real space, right in front of your eyes. It's a great new way of interacting with an insect that simply wasn't possible before. And we hope to bring thousands more insects into the digital world through the Atlas of Living Australia's online database. That way we can study, share and compare. Who knows what discoveries you can make?